Hello everyone, I guess you hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we're here with a video on what to do when you're feeling burned out in old school RuneScape, a question that myself and others run into you know, quite a bit personally. Since I have a YouTube channel and I find a lot of joy in this game in many different ways, it's not something I run into quite as much, but it's still something I've had to battle with in the past and I know plenty of other people who have done the same. Everyone's a little bit different though, so what works for me might not work for you, so I'll throw out a bunch of different options today and we can see which one might be best for you. Usually when you're feeling burned out, there's some sort of underlying problem or struggle that you're dealing with and maybe you just don't know exactly what that is. So again, trying as many of these as possible is going to be best for you. So the first thing we'll get right out of the way because I know this is kind of the meme is just stop playing the game as much <laughs> if you're if you're burned out of the game and you're really not enjoying it for some certain reason um taking a break is always a, a great thing to do i understand with runescape it's you know somewhat of an addicting game so maybe that might not be the easiest but if you are really feeling burned out one of the easiest options is to just stop playing as much you know take a little bit of a break and if that desire comes back then obviously from there you can go ahead and get right back on into it so now that we've gotten the obvious out of the way, the next thing that comes to mind for me is to switch your game style up entirely. Um, if you're someone that has an account that maybe is, you know, 80s, 90s in your combats, but then you go and look at your skills and you got 40 or 50, maybe 60 in a lot of your skills, that's a sign that you're obviously neglecting half of your account and you're not putting it in as much effort as you should to be able to make your account more holistic. And at the end of the day, the neglection that you put towards your account in that way is gonna come to roost at some point. You're going to have to focus on it or you're gonna have to think about it and maybe you're just reaching that stage of the game where you're noticing that and now you're a little upset even if you're a skiller and maybe you've just skilled too much and you haven't tried out much bossing i mean whatever it is if you focus too much in one direction of the game and ignore the others you're obviously not going to have as many options on how you want to play the game your account's not going to progress as well and there's going to be a lot of things that are holding you back and eventually all the things that are holding you back and all the things you haven't tried are gonna be a little stressful maybe be a little disappointed pointing in yourself but the the best way to go about it is obviously just to try out that other half of the game and see if you enjoy that if you're feeling burnout and what you're doing then obviously then from there go and try something else maybe quest or achievement diaries that can be more interactive and pretty quick and easy to do and they're still going to boost your account and make you feel pretty productive but if you're feeling bored with what you're doing then obviously you're going to have to switch it up so personally for me i was always someone that would just do way too much slayer and finally getting into the questing achievement diaries and skilling was actually pretty fun for me once I started to take a more holistic approach to my account. Next up is making an Iron Man. This is something that I've definitely enjoyed and a lot of the community has as well. Basically an account that cannot trade and you have to function solely on your own. This is great for a couple different reasons. The first being that this acts as an alt account. You could play this account while you play your main. And personally, I find playing two RuneScape accounts to usually be more exciting than playing one because you have obviously different journeys to go on and different things to hold your attention. It's also an entirely different way of playing the game that for a lot of people is going to be pretty jarring and you'll feel like a noob again. And I think that that's that's a sense that a lot of us want to feel again because we obviously remember our times when we initially got into old school runescape and remember them fondly and so to be able to relive that in some sort of way is obviously great so iron man provides just an entire different way of looking at the game a whole new experience and of course you can pair that with another account and play them both at the same time and get a good bit of progress going there's also other options like hardcore iron man group iron man or ultimate iron man i wouldn't recommend the latter that are a good bit of fun that you can provide in different ways so i'd recommend that if you're looking for a little bit more of a different grind the next way to avoid burnout is to join a clan chat a discord a community of some sort i myself hang out in my clan chat small exp lamp along with the discord as well a great way for me to interact with those that watch the videos and get to know you guys a bit more and just have a lot of fun in runescape this has been something that i've always done even before i had a youtube channel i was a part of a clan chat met a couple good friends in there and even when i had a very very small youtube channel like 10 years ago it allowed me to meet a couple other good friends that i still have to this day and a lot of the things I talk about with the burnout in this video could be translated to real life. Having friends, a community around you, people to support you is always going to be fun and a way for you to be able to interact with the game or life on another level. You get to have other people be a part of your journey while you are also a part of their journey and it just makes you feel more connected to the community at large. So finding people that are like-minded and want to do the same sort of activities is going to be the best way. Maybe if you're really into PVM, you join a high-level PVMing Discord. 
Maybe if you're into skilling, you do the same thing, but for skilling. And of course, there's just casual discords with a lot of different fun people to go out and hang out with. And through meeting these friends, you can take on challenges you might not have been able to before, maybe some sort of group bossing or mini games that you didn't have access to beforehand. But definitely having people around you that you care for and that care for you is, is always going to be a thing that makes you feel more involved and more appreciated as a player in the game or just a human in general. The next thing to help you avoid burning out is not any sort of play style advice, however it's more just general advice and that is that money isn't everything. Um, I'd say this is even the same in real life. Obviously you want a base level of money in game, enough to be able to go out and kill the bosses and do the things you want to do. But beyond that, whenever you focus on building money and making your bank go higher and higher and higher. The thing is, if, if money gives you the satisfaction in theory that you're looking for, then you'll always keep hunting more money. And if you keep hunting more money, you will never be satisfied because you can, you can endlessly get more and more money. It's out there. You can keep on churning. There is no end to it. So you might think that you're good once you got a T-bow, but then you realize, well, I got to get a T-bow and all this other armor. And then once you have all the other armor, you're like, ah, oh, I kind of want a scythe too. And then maybe on top of that, a harmonized orb. Then on top of that, you'll want an Ellie. And, and basically this just goes on and on. You'll never be satisfied with what sort of items are in your bank you'll always yearn for more and once you understand that then you can sit back and just sort of enjoy the game a bit more without having to worry or just get yourself frustrated with all these different things that you think you need then next is something that has burnt me out of the game once but also gotten me into the game a good bit and that is to either try out dailies or to stop doing dailies so if you know what dailies are basically those are things that you can do once a day maybe sometimes hourlies that you do once an hour examples of this for hourlies is an herb run and a birdhouse run then for dailies you have things you can pick up through achievement diaries like battle staffs you also have miscellanea that you can do and continue to farm rewards through that tears of guthix is a weekly event too and then you also have flipping that you could do kind of on the side passively for money and so there's a lot of things like that that are just activities that take up a little bit of your time but are effective in that small bit of time. So there's been times for me in the game where I need a little bit of a kickstart whenever I'm logging in, I need something to get me into that routine, and dailies can definitely be that. They can help you sort of ease on into the game for the day. But on the opposite end, if you feel like you're doing too many dailies or too many weeklies, like I did in RS3, RS3 had way too many dailies, way too many weeklies, and I felt kind of burdened by it and honestly burnt out. So I just stopped doing them, and for a large part of my old school runes, escape playtime I actually didn't do too many dailies because I still was nervous that if I did I might get to that same point again at the moment playing my Iron Man that's not really the case but it is something I'm always sort of cognizant of and then the final option if none of this works or sounds appealing to you the last thing I would say is just play the game the way you like do whatever you find enjoyable and personally for me for a lot of the game that's basically just been doing endless slayer at one point, I stopped doing as much Slayer, but honestly, I, I could have just kept going. I could have gone for maybe 200 mil Slayer XP or just endless bossing or really whatever you're enjoying. Just continue on that path. Sometimes you might feel obligated to go do other things, something for me. Once you get a max cape, everyone kind of makes fun of you. If you don't have the infernal cape, they're like, oh, you got a cheese cape, you little noob. You don't know how to PVM. But at the end of the day, I think Inferno sounds like a terrible grind that I have absolutely no use for. So I'm going to do me. I'm going to do what I enjoy. And that's just going to be more bossing and more slayer post max because that's what i find fun in the game and at the end of the day a lot of people feel like they're caught up in this rat race where you gotta you know get as much gp as you get or max your account as fast as possible when in reality the only reason you're playing this game is to have fun and enjoy yourself so if everything else fails just do what you like and if that's not even working then you know go back to step one and just take a break from the game because that's okay too so yeah that is going to be it for this guide to being burnt out in old school runescape hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like on top of that we'd love to hear what you guys do when you're burnt out could help other people in the comments down below and if you want some more videos like this as soon as you go live make sure to subscribe and with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh peace